But where were we? We were talking about this interesting substance that, in fact, looks like water, but it doesn't make things wet when I pour it. Do you know what this is? What? Exactly. It is liquid nitrogen. Now, normally, nitrogen is in the form of a gas. Right now, the air you're breathing is about 80% nitrogen. But if you cool that gas to a temperature of 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, or 196 below zero Celsius, or said differently, a mere 77 degrees above the absolute coldest anything can be, in fact, the gas turns into a liquid. And liquid nitrogen, then, is very cold stuff. And there are many interesting things we can do with liquid nitrogen. One thing is to point out that the physical properties of many materials change when you cool them to the very low temperature of liquid nitrogen. For example, here is a flexible plastic hose, which I'm going to lower into the liquid nitrogen. Now, look at what happens. We've made ourselves a little fountain. And the reason this works is that the hose is much warmer than the liquid nitrogen. And when I put it in, it causes the nitrogen to boil. And so some of the gas comes up through the tube, and it carries some of the liquid along with it, and it forced it out, and we had a fountain. Now, you also notice that after a while, the fountain stops. And that's because the tube has cooled down to the very low temperature of the nitrogen, and no longer is it uh, boiling. However, the tube has now uh, become very, very cold, and its properties have changed. Whereas before it was very flexible, now it's very rigid. In fact, I can take a hammer, and it shatters like a piece of glass. And in fact, this is true of many things. In fact, this is one of the reasons we're interested in predicting the weather. So you know tomorrow whether you're going to have trouble with your car starting. If your oil gets thick like that, your car doesn't do too well.